seen it. Hi guys. Uh, we had a couple good days digging this weekend. I uh, found this ink and for some reason it's really hard to find inks out there that aren't broke. So this one's broke too. I found a small one about half this size but it was busted. Of course, um, these are today's finds. This nice little vial here. Uh, it's probably got some numbers in a um, diamond there. Um, this is just a nice little um, no-name vial. I got another one of these little probably grape juice and I don't think there's any markings on it. There's a K on the bottom so I can look that up. One of these bottles here just a number four on the bottom of it so I'm not sure what that was I did find another one of these Joe Kerr bottles and I know that this was a wave set bottle from the uh, 1920s 1930s when they used to do finger waves I've got two others of those uh, found this top to something uh, I find, do find metal pieces out there, but a lot of times when I pick them up, they just crumble. This has been in a big ash pile and uh, burnt and in the ground for a hundred years on a lot of this stuff. Uh, just another small vial. And this one actually has a screw top, so that's a little bit unusual. I don't think there's any markings on this whatsoever. This glass is really thin. You can feel the thinness of it. Um, this is one I wouldn't have normally picked this up and I've got a bunch of these except that it's aqua So I think this is the very first aqua of these I found and I'm not gonna pass up an aqua that's not broke. So I bought it brought it home uh, This one here has just got a nice shape to it To me this just looks very 20s 1920s uh, could be up to 40s because, I mean, it is a screw top, but it just has that nice look to it. Uh, it looks um, deco, art deco. It does have some kind of a weird marking on it there. I'm not sure how well that's going to show up, but I'm not sure what that is. So that's something I haven't seen before. Uh, this is probably a beer bottle. No markings. This is one from yesterday. I just really like it. It's Even though it doesn't have a mark on it, uh, it has a number one on the bottom, I think. But it's got, it's got just tons of tiny little bubbles in it. And it looks really crude. But it's a screw top. So... I don't know if I showed you this one, the tiny bottle from yesterday. Uh, one of the bottles we got today actually had the cork in it. Here's one of the corks. Okay, and the bottle that you saw us digging up, or you saw my husband digging out, was this one right here. It's a nice big bottle. It has a crown top. Um nice aqua probably wine or beer and it does have markings on it if i can get her turned around the right way oh i always love that uh, it says s b and g co number 43 so i did look this up and this is um Late 1800s, early 1900s, because they stopped using that mark in 1905. So nobody out there can tell me that's not an old bottle. Don't even give me that shit. Uh, there you go. I'm sorry, I have no clue what this is. It's just a really weird looking purplish piece of glass. 
heavy. I might use it as a paperweight. <laughs> so on to a few other good things that we found today, and they are down here. Uh, you might recognize this from yesterday. I actually went back out, um, picked it up, brought it home. It's just, uh, this is a heartbreaker. That's that piece from that uh, Carter's Cathedral Master Ink bottle. Heartbreaker. So I'll keep that to remind me what's out there, though. The potential. This is a, something really different. I'm assuming this is a perfume bottle. Absolutely no markings on it whatsoever. Nothing. No markings. The gra glass has a little bit of a hold look. And it's probably not going to show up on here. But you can see where the glass is kind of pulled out this way and, and pulled out that way and it comes back down. Probably not going to show up on this. Unfortunately, yes, it's broke. Has a plastic lid, screw on. I would just say some kind of a perfume, but I don't know. If anybody's seen one like that before, let me know. Here's a teeny tiny little bottle. Probably more, just uh, maybe an inch uh, and a half tall. Has a nice little pattern around it, ribbed pattern on three sides and one smooth side where probably a label would have been. And on the bottom it says Q-Tex. Cork top. Uh, I'm thinking nail polish, but it's really teeny tiny. Little bitty bottle. Really cute, cleaned up great. I love that one. I love those little bottles and that one's special. Here is a perfume of some kind. It has the letters P E F on the bottom. Uh, and it does have some kind of writing on the top, but I can't make out what it says. It actually still has perfume in it. And it actually smells good. So, Lord knows how long it's been laying out in the dump in the uh, ash. But something with perfume still in it. <clears throat> This is a really good find here. Small. It says Walter Holder Reed, Corner Drug Store, Litchfield, Illinois. And that's uh, this town. This is from the early 1900s. I actually bought a big one of these. Really, really big uh, one on eBay. Cost me about 50 bucks, you know, overall. But I bought it and it's out at the museum now, our local museum. But this one I found. So, that is a really awesome find. I love that. It's got a little chip in it. I don't care. Um, just one more thing here. <laughs> um, I only picked this up because I could read uh, that it said Burma Shave on it. Burma Shave. Uh, broken, broken jar. So... I'll probably end up throwing that away, but it's just really funny that this, this stuff runs the gamut of uh, maybe 40s, early 50s, um, this is early 1900s, maybe 1910 even, uh, at the latest. Who knows on this? And uh, I was told that this is a, this one runs uh, 1910 to 1920. So I, it's just really strange that I can pick up something that's uh, even from the late 1800s out here at this dump, and uh, six inches away I can find uh, something that's from 1950. So it's just uh, it's a it's a strange place, and you never know what's going to come up with that next uh, next um, shovelful. So that's it for today, and. Uh, I, I think I'll have one more time out there. My husband's going to have surgery. So after that, I probably won't be uh, going out to the bottle dump for a while because he does not want me to go out there by myself. It's kind of a dangerous place. So that's it for today. I'm hoping you have a good day and happy hunting.